The next thing I'd like to review is MCL injuries. And we'll go through some of the different areas that an MCL tear can happen on the MRI and also go through some of the secondary signs of an MCL tear. The first thing that we'll go through this MCL tear is to review the coronal fat saturation images and it, it'll show up as the normal structures would be dark and the torn structures would be light. This patient had a skiing injury on Christmas Eve in 2013 and had a very significant medial sided knee injury is quite violent. So we'll go through the images. All the white images on this side are showing where there's a lot of swelling in the, in the structures. So now we'll start to course down. And here's the meniscus. The meniscal femoral capsule here is torn. The meniscal tibial capsule is torn. As we go deeper, we can see that the capsule is actually torn away from the meniscus at this location right there. And as we go a little bit further, you can still see the capsules torn away. So this is the deep MCL here, and this is some of the superficial MCL within it. So the superficial MCL would attach up here, and the deep MCL down here. And you can see that there's a lot of thickening within the structure. That's not normal width. As we start to go more posterior, we can see the same type of thing happening, where now we're getting some of the meniscal tibial capsule is still attached, but everything is torn off the meniscus at this location. And we're starting to see some of the posterior fibers of the superficial medial collateral ligament. They'll start to blend in more with the posterior oblique ligament back here. And this is showing where the posterior oblique ligament is torn off its femoral attachment site. And you can see there's a lot of swelling and edema around these structures. And as we go around the corner, the posterior medial capsule along the more posterior aspect of the femur is also torn. The next thing we'll review is the sagittal images. So with the sagittal images, the patella will be anterior up here, and then the back of the knee would be posteriorly. So we'll start going from the lateral side. Here's the biceps. Here's the fibrocollateral ligament. This is the inferior lateral genicular artery. And we'll start to see the lateral meniscus in here, as well as the fibular head. And here's the patella up anteriorly. As we start to course more towards the midline, we'll start to see more swelling from the injury. There's a little bit of edema here in the patella where there's some extra stress. And as we get to the center of the knee, we can see the ACL. So the ACL is still intact. This is showing a PCL tear. So this is a tibial attachment site. This is a femoral attachment site. And midway between them, there's a complete disruption of the PCL. As we start to get more towards the midline, we can see the meniscus again. And we're starting to see some of the more stripped tissues off the femur with all the swelling at that location. You can see that the meniscus is still intact, so it was not torn away from the tibia as part of this injury. And as we get all the way over to the midline, we can see the adductor magnus tendon right here. These would be the VMO fibers. And pretty much as we get onto this location, it's very difficult to discern the normal appearance of the superficial MCL, the deep MCL, because of the amount of disruption that occurred there. Next image that we'll go through is the axial image. So the axial image is starting out distally. One of the first things that we could see is here's where the MCL tibial attachment site would be. You can see all the soft tissue edema here consistent with a very severe blowout type. Become more proximal, we'll start to see more disruption. This is some of the meniscal tibial portion of the deep MCL. And as we come more proximal to that, we'll start to see where there's some of the medial meniscus showing up. As we continue to course on the femur, we'll see some hint of some of the MCL and deep MCL, but unfortunately it's been completely disrupted and there's a lot of soft tissue edema around these structures. And this is where the normal attachment site of a superficial MCL would be up here. So we just see a hint of a little bit of the attachment site still attached on the femur, but it's been otherwise completely disrupted as we course more proximally. And then as we get up here, we start to see more where the adductor magnus tendon would be attached. Yeah.